the great conflict of the ages is about to intensify. But remember the words of Jesus, In me ye may have peace, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Would you like to know how to exercise courage and fight the good fight of faith? Listen to this devotional. Conflict and Courage, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Music in a Cave My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Psalms 57 verse 4 Oh, how precious is the sweet influence of the Spirit of God as it comes to depress or despairing souls, encouraging the faint-hearted, strengthening the feeble, and imparting courage and help to the tired servants of the Lord. Oh, what a God is ours, who deals gently with the erring and manifests his patience and tenderness in adversity and when we are overwhelmed with some great sorrow. Every failure on the part of the children of God is due to their lack of faith. When shadows encompass the soul, when we want light and guidance, we must look up. There is light beyond the darkness. David ought not to have distrusted God for one moment. He had cause for trusting in him. He was the Lord's anointed. And in the midst of danger, he had been protected by the angels of God. He had been armed with courage to do wonderful things, and if he had but removed his mind from the distressing situation in which he was placed and had thought of God's power and majesty, he would have been at peace even in the midst of the shadows of death. Among the mountains of Judah, David sought refuge from the pursuit of Saul. He made good his escape to the cave of Adullam, a place that, with a small force, could be held against a large army. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. In the cave of Adullam, the family were united in sympathy and affection. The son of Jesse could make melody with voice and harp as he sang, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Psalms 133 verse 1 He had tasted the bitterness of distrust on the part of his own brothers, and the harmony that had taken the place of discord brought joy to the exile heart. It was here that David composed the 57th Psalm. 